is were you one of the few guys who probably didn't want last season to end with how oh yeah, yeah, yeah I mean definitely I mean like I said I started to catch my shot at the end so I was starting to feel good um and finally getting that groove and then it ended so I mean a good thing like I said going into year two I can continue that same groove into year two and keep on improving I mean it's kind of what I did in college same thing you know each year I, I keep on improving and keep on stacking more stuff and then just learning last year it took me a while to learn how to get in the groove of the game faster with less plays. I mean, like I said, playing behind D-Law was a blessing to Curtis because he, he did his thing and I was able to learn a lot from him. And, you know, we're so close that he would teach me everything he knew and I could, you know, see what I could apply. But also just because he had such a great year, I was able to play much behind him. So I was able to get as many snaps and learn as fast as I wanted to learn. But um, like I said, going into year two, I'm able to, you know, learn now. And then, you know, him resting right now, I'm able to really be out there and practice and, you know, put all my moves to work and uh, see what all I can do. How can is it a measurable difference in your strength and speed and things like that? That if you looked at last year's numbers and this year's numbers, they would be different? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, that's what I mean. Coach Wojcik, you know, kind of told me he likes the way, you know, even my body fat, everything has gone down. I mean, so like I said, every, like I said, I'm feeling better, uh, moving better. Um, like I said, I, I feel good out there. Just having the comfortability out there um, going into year two is definitely, you know, a blessing and, uh, you know, not as much thinking and just playing the game now. So now it's just Ron playing still. the game. Cuss that yet? No, yeah, that's gonna come. He cuss everybody, so that's <laughs> gonna come. But like I said, it's all love with him, and uh, you know, he just pushed me. He know how good I can be. He always tell me that, so he always just pushed me to you know do what I can do. But you didn't know it last year that he was like that, so you're like, God, he does, does he like me? Does he not like me? <laughs> yeah, last year I just felt like everybody was coming at me, so I was trying to like you know take everybody's word. But now this year, like I said, I feel more comfortable. I feel good out there and uh, ready to go for year two, definitely. Mark, what did you say you learned most from Tech? Uh, like I said, we, we go anything, I mean, just, just, he always, you know, the good thing with him is he had the same climb with him. He had the same challenges. So he just always said, just trust the process. I mean, he was a guy, you know, his rookie season, he had his struggles, you know, going to the second year, he started to explode and then third year had some struggles. But last year, just seeing what he could do after a couple of years in the books and just seeing, just, uh, watch the film of how he was when he was younger compared to now, you could just see like, okay, I see the strides you make as you keep getting more and more comfortable, learn more things, but just him going oh, you know, we we go to the side and work on on our own, just on different moves and stuff like that. That you know he's very good at. So just having that teacher right there, like him and Ty out there to teach me different things, uh, being such a young guy is definitely a, a blessing. He told us last week he thinks you actually had a great first year. It just got overshadowed by how many sacks he had. What did you think? <laughs> of your first year? Yeah, like I said, my my first year, like I said at the beginning, wasn't as good as I wanted to go. But at the end, I started to hit my stride, and like I said, it started all to come together. So I mean, like I said the season had to end, which was bad for me, just because like I said I started to really get in my groove, but. Um, like I said, now I got year two, so I can now I can build up on it, uh, start brand, start fresh, and really you know think I can have an impact to help this team win games. Uh, like I said, uh, we always you know we the good thing about us is me and him we compete all the time. So he's at the top right now, but you know we compete like you know like I'm uh, he he the big brother I'm the little brother, so we just compete you know and, you know we talk trash everything like that, but it brings the competition out of us and makes us both improve. What has he not taught you yet that you want to learn from him? Uh, like I said, whatever whatever he knows and I ask, he'll he'll definitely tell me. Um, like I said, just like I said, just the climb already that he's made and like he continues to make. The good thing about him, he remains hungry. So just because he had a good year last year, uh, he's a person who always you know he wants more, and that's something that uh, you know I talk trash and basically make it look like he ain't did nothing. So he <laughs> so he uh, he definitely you know pushes and everything like that. I always talk trash like I run up under him. So. Uh, just having that, you know, him pushing me to be better, and then I'm pushing him just to keep on the striving to, you know, keep improving and, you know, get that 20 sack a year and everything like that that he, you know, I think he's capable of being. What message is he sending the way he's handling that franchise tag? Just motivated oh yeah he's still motivated definitely um like i said he definitely wants to improve on the numbers he see what he could do last year but you know just how close he got to a lot of sacks last year with all the pressures he had just proves you know he can have that you know that breakout season well he had one already but had that season where you know he gets close to 20 and leads the league the whole year in sacks and everything like that i believe you know he's capable of doing things like that what do you think going against this offensive line all of last year practice did for you Oh, yeah, it definitely it makes you improve just because, like I said, we have one of the best offensive line in, in the NFL. So going against Tyron, going against LC, you know, when I go against the guys on the inside, you know, it makes you, it makes you step up your game because if you don't come with it every time, they're going to try to embarrass you. So they're aggressive guys. They uh, they challenge us in practice, but and it pushes us, and we try to challenge them to push them. So uh, just having that in practice, going against it and then going in the game, it makes everything a lot easier.